All of Gotham is relieved to be back to normal after what seems to have been a rather large universal crisis. However, even with things back to normal, many have started to worry what lasting effects this crisis may have had on our fair city. All experts are still trying to get an accurate idea on what exactly has remained the same and what has changed, but one thing they can conclude. Gotham is still the same city it was before this crisis began. More on this story tomorrow at 6. Master Bruce, it seems whatever that cosmic event was, it put Gotham back to its old self. I've ran a scan of the city, and there are buildings here that were destroyed decades ago. There are businesses that never existed before, but somehow have been around for five plus years. Crisis on infinite Earths. That's what Barry called it. The multiverse theory is true. There is other Earths just like ours out there, but different. Some of them have merged together with ours, and we are now Earth Prime. Earth Prime? Well, that's certainly a bold choice for our planet, I suppose. And I'm sorry, but how did you miss being a part of the crisis? It seems it was pretty widespread. Do you recall anything from the crisis, Barbara? Oh, right. You, um, have a good point there. That does raise one question, sir. If this Earth Prime indeed is a combination of multiple Earths, and has brought old items of Gotham back, what are the chances that it possibly brought back any of your foes that you defeated? Barry made it rather clear to me that everything may seem normal, but there's a lot more happening out there. We need to be on alert at all times. You never know what you can find here in Gotham. For all we know, there could be another Joe Chill walking around. You got it, Bruce. You can count on me. Me as well, sir. Alfred, give me details on a possible crime going on in downtown Gotham. I'm on my way there right now. Of course, sir. Sir, it seems we have a hostage situation in process. Any idea who the hostages are? Give me a moment here, sir. Ah, uh, yes, actually. It seems to be the employees of the West Industrial. West Industrial? Who'd want to hold that place hostage? It seems Miss Ivy would. I suppose a woman of her stature would want a place like West Industrial to cease production. I'm nearly there. Keep me updated. Will do, sir. dealing with. Thank goodness you're here, Batman. It seems Poison Ivy has taken West Industrial hostage over the fact that their latest invention would, as she states, harm the plant life of planet Earth. It's honestly getting rather old, but I suppose nothing really changes around here, does it? It never does. Tell your men to stay out here. I'll handle this. He never ceases to surprise me. Never. All right, men. Fall back. I hope you know what you're doing, Batman. I hope you know what you're doing. Hello, Mr. West. I've been looking all over this place for you. But I suppose you've been rather tied up in trying to run this place, haven't you? Please, whatever you want, take it. Just don't hurt me. Oh, but Mr. West, that's exactly what I want. I want to hurt you like you've hurt my dear children. The plants of the Earth are not pleased with your actions. And it's long past due for you to get what you deserve. Mr. West, do you know what's more deadly than any of your inventions here? A woman's kiss. Get out of here. You're not safe. You don't have to tell me twice. You're not going to let her take our latest invention, are you? Batman, I should have figured you'd come here to crash the party. I'm afraid it's too late to stop me, though. I've got what I came for, and once it's destroyed, my job here will be done. Give up now, Ivy, and we can end this without anyone getting hurt. Without anyone getting hurt? Well, that's simply no fun at all. I'm afraid I'm going to have to go for the option that allows me to break you in every way possible. You can try, 
but I wouldn't recommend it. Is that so? Well, I have boys of mine that I think would beg to differ. Boys, he's all yours. Make me proud. You don't want to do this. Ivy used her scent on all of you. What can I say? There's no man that can resist someone like me. Right, boys? Good. Now stop delaying and attack Batman. I don't want to hurt any of you, but if that's the way it has to be... It's really quite a shame you and I couldn't be a team. Just think of the things the two of us could do. With Gotham's dark night at my side, and all of Gotham under my control. There's not a living soul who could stop us. You're delusional, Ivy. You need help. You're one for two on that one, sadly. See, I'm not the delusional one here, Batman. However, you're right when you say I need help. And if you think the guards here were the only help I had, then you are greatly mistaken. It sounded like you needed some help, so here I am. Thanks for the assist. Bruce, you don't have to do everything by yourself, you know. Alfred and I can help take care of things that don't need your attention anymore. I'm aware of that. It's not that I don't appreciate you two helping me. It's just, I have a lot on my conscience lately. I can't be responsible if anything were to happen to either of you. Bruce, hear me when I say, if something happens to either of us, that's on us, not you. I'm not sure where this sudden thought of you needing to protect us is coming from, but I can assure you, Alfred and I can take care of ourselves. So please, from this point on, let us help you more. Someone reminded me a while ago that I'm not the only one who suffered a loss. I'll consider it. <sighs> I guess that's better than nothing. Did Mr. West make it out of the building? He did. I made sure of that. Good. Escort Ivy here down to the GCPD outside. Can do. But where are you going? Shouldn't you be the one bringing her in? I need to look around the city some more. Who knows what else crisis could have caused. Besides, we could use more Batgirl nowadays. I think that was a compliment? I think? Eh, no matter. Time for you to go back to Arkham, now that it's finally rebuilt and far more secured now. <sighs> uh, handcuffed. Isn't that kinky? Ugh, I take that back. Now it's just depressing. Sorry I'm not Batman, but he has more pressing things to worry about than taking you down to the GCPD. So, he makes you do all the small things, huh? Doesn't that ever bother you? I mean, you clearly are quite capable of doing things on your own. Oh, your efforts of trying to turn me against him are being wasted, Ivy. Just stop now, and save yourself from embarrassing yourself even more than you already are. Ugh. You bats are no fun, I swear. Thank you. Alfred, come in. Sir, is there something on your mind? Did you know tonight is the five-year anniversary of the night I... let the Riddler die? I should have saved him. I should have saved him and just turned him into the GCBD. But I didn't. I let my own intentions get in the way. My own selfish intentions. I broke my one rule. Yes, what happened that night was outright terrible, and you did things you normally would never do. But in the long run, you saved the city from the Riddler's control. You would have held the city captive if it weren't for you stopping him. I didn't stop him, Alfred. I killed him. I killed him. Do you ever wonder what it would have been like if it didn't happen? Quite frankly, sir, no. But I imagine somehow he would have returned and made Gotham pay for some outrageous things. I'm going to continue patrolling for the rest of the night, Alfred. Let me know if any other activity is going on in the city. Understood, Master Bruce. My parents. Jason. change. What happened? If only. Impossible. Impossible. 
impossible. Oh, it's impossible. This world is impossible and I am impossible. I must know who I am. I must know what I am. I must figure this out. I must. I must. Hey, I thought I told you already to get out of my alley. If I find you here again, I'm going to report you to the police. And then you'll be their problem. Now get out of here! But I must know who I am. I must know how I came to be. I must know! That place will do nothing but hide the answers from me. Here I can think without distractions. Well, you better think faster then. Because if you're not gone by tomorrow, then the answers you're looking for will be gone. Forever. Vamos! You got it? Now, for the last time, get the hell out of my alley! <laughs> what is happening to me? What is happening to me? How am I here? How am I alive? The explosions. I can feel them. I can feel the heat of them as they consume me. No, 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 no. No, it's too hot. Too hot. It's consumed me. I've been taken by the flames. I'm gone. I'm gone. But it's, here I am. Here I am alive. I am alive. I am... I am... a crisis. Perhaps this crisis is the reason I'm alive. Very, Very good, good, Captain, Captain Obvious. Obvious. It, it only took you all a decade, decade to figure, to figure it, out. it out. Now, now clearly, clearly I am exaggerating, exaggerating a bit, a bit but, but really, really, to think you are this Earth's Earth Edward Nigma? <laughs> it's simply it's insulting. insulting. Who, who's there? Who's that speaking? Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself now. My word, you are rather dull. I suppose you could call me a rather permanent fragment of your mental collective now. The, the crisis destroyed all the multiverse Earths, but then led to the creation of this main or prime Earth. Why it did is truly the riddle, but I suppose there's no going back now. The multiverse? So, it... It exists. Yes. yes. Well, uh, it did. There's, There's probably, probably some, some new form, form of it out there now, now but nothing, nothing that's very tangible. Perhaps not tangible for those who are simple-minded. For me, however, it is evident that there clearly is a new multiverse, since there is a prime Earth. And who the hell are you? Too many voices. Like you, I was Too many. an alternate Earth and got stuck in this idiot's mind. What's even wrong with him? If he's the Riddler, shouldn't he be at peak intelligence by now? It would seem something on this Earth happened before Christ. That, 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 caused that caused him to be like this. Very good deduction. Very good deduction. Now, if now, you could actually you could use your mind and think mind, about what would cause someone, someone to lose their intelligence in the first place, in the first place we might actually, get, actually somewhere. get somewhere. Great! Great. Another, another one. one. Too many... <sighs> Too many... You really should listen to us, Edward. Uh, assuming your name on this earth is Edward. Edward. Yes. My name... Is it word? But I can't remember the name after that. It's like a mystery I can't seem to figure out. You're, You're actually, actually on the right, on the right track. track. Tell, me, tell me, what, what is another, another name, name for a mystery, mystery, Edward? Can you tell us what that is? Another name for a mystery is... Is... An... Unsolvable? And we're screwed. We're screwed. Great. Crisis really did a number on us. On that, we can agree. It's honestly quite the enigma that we all survived Crisis at all. Granted, this is not the way I would have liked to survive, but I suppose I'll take what I can get. Enigma. Another name for a mystery. I'm sorry, what was that, Edward? My name is Edward Nigma. But that name is not the name I go by. No, my name is the Riddler. Well, it looks like the lights are starting to come back on after all. Good to have you back with us, Edward. Now there's one piece of business we need to settle before we proceed. 
what caused you to lose your intelligence? It was something involving fire and heat. My body experiencing both in great amounts. If only I could recall what that was, though. Can you describe the fire and heat? Were they one of the same? or two separate entities. This mind is really starting to become rather clustered. How many Riddlers did Crisis cram into here? Clearly too many, if you ask me. Quiet! I must think. Yes. Yes, it's all coming to me now. Fire and heat. We're one in the same. One in the same? Could it be possible that an explosion went off on Port Edward here? Explosions. It was explosions. My explosions. I'm sorry, your explosions? You were stupid enough to blow yourself up? It wasn't my fault. Yes, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. <laughs> my death wasn't because of something I did. It was because of the... The Batman. So, so uh, wait. Uh, wait. You, literally you literally were, were killed, killed by, by Batman? Batman. <laughs> I must admit, I'm starting, I'm starting to regret, regret questioning your lack of intelligence. Of intelligence. Not, not me. me. How could you let the Batman kill you in the first place? I mean, surely before you became like this, you had a plan for if things fell through. I did. And for the most part, it worked. However, what I did not anticipate was Batman leaving me to die. He left you to die. Did you not try to escape the- Of course I did! place completely rigged to blow by the time I was able to reach the controls. The countdown had already reached zero. So you really did have a backup plan. I'm not sure about the rest of you, but I think we owe Edward here an apology. Edward? Are none of you named Eva Enigma here? I'm afraid you're the only female iteration here, aren't we? I never even considered the possibility of there being a female Riddler. Enigma. An enigma indeed. A rather unfair one, if I'm being honest. No. No, 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 no. Enigma was my assistant back in the day. She was to the point of taking over me if anything happened to me. Clearly something did happen. And for the record, there are two female Riddlers here. Forgive me, but this mind is rather cluttered to the point of not being able to tell the difference. Enough! I realize you all had your way of doing things in your own respective curves. But for some reason, this new universe picked me as the regular Prime. So if you all cut it with the mocking and bickering, perhaps we can work together to make me the most threatening Riddler this Earth has ever seen. I'm intrigued by this proposition. Count me in. Despite my personal feelings against all of this, it does seem logical to do this. Count me in as well. If it's the only way to get the Riddler name back out there, I'm in. Me as well. What the hell? I'm in too. Excellent. Then it seems we have work to do. Business is good. Without any disruptions from the outside, my empire has finally taken off in avenues that I would never have once thought that it would. Business is good. Without any disruptions from the outside, my empire has finally taken off in avenues that I never once thought were possible. Sir, there's a situation that requires your personal attention. And what is so urgent that it requires me to be there in person, huh? Please, do tell me. He says he's an old friend from Arkham. I didn't have any friends from Arkham. Whoever this man is, I can assure you, he is not a friend of mine. Please see it to it that he is escorted out of my club immediately. Well, I must admit, this is a nice place, Penguin. <laughs> you really went all in. Good for you. <laughs> Joker. Seriously, you couldn't recognize the Joker of all people. Are you even from Roundy? No, sir. I'm originally from Star City. Yeah. 
I suppose that city does tend to block out everything that happens here. Regardless, you are not welcome here. So leave, Joker. Oh, Pengi, Pengi. Why are you being so hostile towards me? I haven't even tried to kill you yet. <laughs> <sighs> I should at least get some credit for that. Speak your business, then leave. Right. Down to business. Very well. As you may or may not have noticed, Gotham is not exactly, well, the same as it once was. This crisis thing, whatever it was, has really messed up things for me and my crew. So, I was wondering, with your establishment still uh, the same old way as before, if you'd be willing to house my men and I. <laughs> and before you ask, money is not an issue. We have plenty of it. <laughs> Listen carefully when I say this. No! Now get out of my club! You'd be wise to reconsider, Penguin. You know what I'm capable of doing. <laughs> if you ever try to pull anything on me, I will personally make sure you don't live to see tomorrow. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly. Good seeing you, Penguin. We really should catch up more often. Oh! And by the way, your club. It's, hmm, rather dull. If you ask me, I mean, who wants to sit in a place like this? when they could easily go to a bar down the street that has more light to it than your run-down establishment here, hmm? May want to work on that. Anyway, doodles! <laughs> Sir, I swear, I didn't know it was the Joker! Consider today your last day of working for me. But well, Mr. Penguin, sir, I just started. Please, I could really use this money for my family. Your family? Yeah. I suppose I could use you for something after all. And it will definitely provide enough money for you and your family to live a comfortable life. <gasps> Thank you, Mr. Penguin, sir. Y you won't regret it. No, I certainly won't. No! Could someone please clean up this man's brain fragments off my lounge floor and make sure he's dealt with the proper way? I'm sure his family will love the gift of a build-your-own-daddy set. This had better be good. It is, sir. We just got news that Ivy's been sent to Arkham's newest edition. Long-term treatment. They had something like that before, you idiot. What's the point you're trying to make here? In this new edition, the treatments leave this patients open to any suggestions. Meaning... Meaning we could finally have Ivy on our side for once. Huh. This is good news indeed. The only issue is getting out into the new edition. Actually, I have that covered. You wouldn't believe it, but my cousin just got transferred there and said he could get us in, undetected. Well, isn't that nice of him? Please make the arrangements with him, then. I believe it's time we visit our dear old friend, Ivy. I'll get right on it, sir. And for goodness sake, would someone clean up the mess on the bloody lounge floor? What do I have to do to keep you lot motivated round here to complete a simple task? Isn't that just nice? If someone's trying to mess with old Joker, you'll be greatly sorry. What the? A green question mark? Oh, I hate to break this to you, but this symbol's already taken by a dead man of all things. <laughs> I suppose that makes it up for grabs, but honestly, not sure why someone would want his trademark symbol. If only you truly knew the truth, Joker. Wait a minute. I recognize that voice. Nigma! Is that you? I'm afraid Edward Nigma is nowhere to be found. However, I am. You may also know me as the Riddler, yes. But this is impossible. You were found dead on the site of the explosion. 
I must admit. If you had a genius way of faking your death, it's truly your greatest accomplishment. I am sorry to rain on your parade, Joker, but my death was real, and I did die that night. But thanks to the recent crisis, it seems the universe was not done with me yet. You, uh, came back from the dead? Well, that really is quite a side effect of this whole crisis thing. Where are you at, Riddle Man? I'd like to see this new living and breathing version of you. Do not call me Riddle Man. And if you're so eager to see me in person, then consider your wish granted. Ah, Riddler, is that you? It is, Joker, in the flesh. Ah, good, good. Now, drop the theatrics and shake my hand. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't do that. You see, I may be there in the flesh, but it doesn't mean I'm personally there in the flesh. All right. Are you confusing me there? Are you standing a few yards in front of me or not? Come closer and you'll find out. Right. You're giving off some mixed signals here, Edward. Being brought back to life must have done a number on you. <laughs> oh, it certainly did. At first, I didn't know who I was or what I was. I was lost, alone, abandoned. But then the universe provided for me just when I needed it the most. I hear the universe works in mysterious ways. Indeed it does. Some might say it's the mother of all riddles. Quite the enigma to solve, I must admit. Most certainly. Now, Riddler, shake my hand. We are within shaking distance. I'd love to, but you see... When I said I was here in the flesh, I was meaning symbolically, not physically. Holly? What did you do to her? I just showed her what I can really do, and I couldn't resist not showing it off to you. And I thought I was the one with a sick sense of humor around here. Come out and face me now! <laughs> I don't think there will be any need of that. Harley, please present the Joker with his gift, will you? Gift? What gift? Puddin, it's a trap. Get out of here where you can't. Harley, you know I never back away from a fight. Now, give me this gift Nigma gave you. That's the thing, Puddin. If I give you the gift, my life as we know it ends right here, right now. No, he didn't. He didn't just carve question marks into you. He carved openings to place a bomb inside of you. Oh, my dear Harley. How could you let him do such a thing to you? He's not the same Riddler we knew from before. It's like he's changed in the most extreme way. He doesn't seem like his old self. You're right, Harley. I don't. I feel like a new and improved Riddler. Now, give Joker the gift, or I'll give it to him myself. Don't do it, Harley. He doesn't control you. Ah, but I do, Joker. And if she doesn't give you the gift in the next 10 seconds, what once was Harley Quinn will be nothing but me. In the flesh. All over you. <laughs> you have changed. The Riddler I used to know had more class than this. This new you is more... Mm, cruel and cynical. I'm glad you noticed. Five seconds. Mr. J. I'm not leaving you behind, Harley. Tell me, why are you doing this? What's the point? The point is to show you that I am truly a force not to reckon with. To show you that I can be the better villain than you can. The reign of the Joker is no more. The reign of the Riddler has arrived. Oh, you've made your point. Now release Harley. Now. Sorry. Time's up. Nigma! Oh, you're gonna pay for that. No, I'm not. But there is a glimmer of light for you. The explosion was naturally real. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course it was. I was literally thrown through the air. Yes, that part is true. However, it wasn't a bomb that did that. It was my new invention. 
and invisible for another box. And you see, your precious Harley is still in one piece. How long she stays that way, however, is on you. What do you want from me? Money? Men? What? Anything. I'll do it. I must admit, seeing desperation on your face is quite amusing. <laughs> I'm not messing around, Enigma. Very well. The thing I want is you. Well, I'm here. So let Holly go. Oh, no, 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 no. You misunderstand. I need you and Harley. Call it a bit of an insurance policy. I don't know what you're up to. But I will not stand here and be played by a crazy and a completely unhinged man who thinks he's above everyone else. The irony of that statement. Our friend, you have no choice in the matter, though. What the? Eva! Let me out! Let me out of here right now! The name is Riddler. And you're going nowhere except where I take you. Now shut up. One down, two to go. I must admit, that was quite a flawless plan. Did you, did you ever, ever have, have a doubt, doubt in our talents? talents? Because if you did, perhaps we need to try the re-educating re process, process again, again on your, your mind. mind. And we'd really, and like, really to like to avoid that. that. If at all possible, please. Ditto to what the others said. I never had a doubt. With Joker and Harley out of the way, though, even the other two should be simple enough. Indeed, Indeed they, they will be. be. So, so, who should we go after next? Penguin, Penguin or, poison or Poison Ivy? Why not both? If the intel we collected tells us anything, they'll be in the same place tonight. Ah, the perfect, the perfect opportunity, opportunity then. Perhaps, Perhaps there's, there's a, chance a chance for you, for you after, after all, Edward. Edward. There's one thing we're one all overlooking, though. You mean the bat? Oh, right. Batman and his friends. Not to worry. I have a plan in store for them. I just need to add the finishing touch to it. And the Bat family will not interfere one bit. And just so we're on the same page here, what exactly is your plan to distract the Bats? They were close with the GCPD, yes. Well, <laughs> who's the one member there that the Bats are always seen partnering with? Commissioner Gordon. You're, You're going, going to, to kidnap, kidnap him and hold him hostage, hostage, aren't you? Essentially, yes. However, there is another layer to it. You see, with James Gordon held hostage, the police will have to call him back up, meaning the bats will be high on their list for backup. But we can't have it too simple for them. I've procured an object that should make it rather difficult to stop me, us. All of us. Get on with it, Edward. What's the object? Really? Out of all of you that have claimed to be so clever, you really can't figure it out? Perhaps you all aren't as clever as you claim. Wait! Wait. You didn't! Edward, Edward tell, tell me you, you didn't! You seem so worried. I'm assuming you've had quite the experience with it then, yes. What are you two talking about? The rest, the rest of us of would really would like really to know. He found the one found person the one who could never be stopped. Or should, or I, say, should I say, the person, the person we, we never could stop. Never, never you can't be serious. You actually want his help? I realize it's a rather sensitive topic for the group here, but let's be honest. He knows how to hold a killer hostage scene. <laughs> Two-Face. You want, you want to bring, bring Two-Face, two of all of people, people, into our, our plan? plan? A necessary evil in this situation. We'll let the bats deal with him, while we deal with the rest of the criminals on our list. Edward, Edward you need to be absolutely, absolutely sure this, this is, is the way you want, want to do this. this. One, One step, step, and it's over for, for all of us. us. The last time I checked, I was the prime regular here. So if I seem certain, I'm certain. If you all shut up, it's time to put on a show Gotham will never forget. It's rather nice your cousin allows us access so carelessly. It's almost like he doesn't care about keeping his position. To be honest, he doesn't really keep a job long enough to make a decent wage. He's always trying to do some backdoor deal with people, but always gets caught red-handed. Uh. Sounds like your cousin would be a good fit with our organization, don't you think? I never thought of that, to be quite honest with you, sir. But I suppose you have a good point. 
Just don't be surprised if he double crosses oh, us. Oh, don't you worry. If he does, I'll just send you to deal with him. Uh, right, sir. Mr. Penguin! It's an honor to meet you. Well, thank you. Your cousin speaks very highly of you, so don't disturb us, and you'll make it out of here alive. But thanks for letting us in. Marcus, you best get back to your post. You really don't want to get another job after this one. Trust me. No kidding. I get to work in the same place all of Gotham's greatest criminals are. Who could want any other job? Have I mentioned I'm always worried about you? Because right now, you're scaring me. Just keep out of Mr. Penguin's way, alright? You got it. No interfering from me. Yeah. Right. My dear friend, you do your best to stop stammering on and listen carefully to me. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Good man. Now, I'm looking for two people that I know are here. When I remove my hand off your mouth, I want you to only tell me where they are. No more, no less. Understood? Mm -hmm. Very well. Let's see how long you last, shall we? <sighs> Wing 55. Wing 55. Thank you for being so helpful. It seems you'll see another day after all. Thank you, sir. <coughs> I suppose I spoke too soon. I did say not a word more or less these days. So selective in their hair. No matter no what matter Earth what you come from, from, it seems to be the same. Agreed. Those, Those inferior beings, beings are just, just so annoying when they can't follow a simple instruction. I think men are more at blame for having this condition. Just speaking from personal experience. I can share that thought. It was the same way on my Earth. I just realized the male versions are all named Edward, but he never did catch both your names. Eva Nigma. Eva Nigma. Hmm. I rather like those names. It certainly fits your personalities. Thank you. Thank Glad you approved. Ditto. You're very welcome. Now, can we get on with what we came here to do? I'm taking that silent answer as a yes. Hello, Ivy. It's been a while. Uh, Penguin, what is your ugly face doing here? How did you even get in here? Well, I have my ways. And it seems Arkham has a ways of uh, controlling its inmates. I'd quite like to try it out, wouldn't you? If you do anything to me, I swear I'll... Yeah. You'll do what? You're currently chained to a wall, with not one plant in sight. It looks like to me, you're in no position to threaten me. Ugh. What exactly do you want with me, anyways? Because if you're desiring the Ivy Rush, all you have to do is ask. Oh, that may work on a simple, dim-witted man. But not on me, Ivy. See, with your connection to the plants, you'd be a very good addition to my organization. You could say you'd be the uh, final enforcer. Of course, you'd only be allowed to do when I deem it allowed. So, essentially, I'd be your servant, lashing out all the enemies you're too lazy to take out yourself? Hard pass on that. Did I say there was a choice? No. No, I don't believe that I did. You're going to greatly regret this, Penguin. I'm sure I will. Now prepare to join Team Penguin. Team Penguin, huh? Kind of sounds like a losing team, if you ask me. Uh, how? How are you alive? Yeah, I second that. You were killed when the last asylum exploded with you inside it. Let's just say the universe still had plans for me. Death. <laughs> it was merely the beginning, as some might say. You seem different, Edward. More composed, almost. Well, I uh, must agree. I never figured you could be this cold and collected. It was time for a new lifestyle. You could say I have many different avenues to explore at the moment. But enough stalling. I came here to do a job, and I'm going to follow through with it. And what exactly is that job? To bring you both under my control. Oh, and I brought some guests. But you'll be with them soon. Right now, I need you two completely cut off from the outside world. Well, I'm afraid that's never gonna happen. Take him down! Yes, sir! Well, that was...
was rather pointless, wasn't it? Who are you? I am the Riddler, and I'm here to stay. What the? Edward, let me out of this thing. Now! Edward, I demand you let me out. I'm sorry, Edward isn't here right now. Only the Riddler. Ah, I will get out. I will. Yes, you do that. In the meantime, Ivy, it seems you were prepared for my arrival. The chains are a bit much, but I suppose whatever it takes. Right? Screw you, Nigma. I'm not becoming your servant either. So whatever you're up to, it's not happening. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> hmm, that's funny. Because the last time I checked, you had no saying what does and doesn't happen regarding my plan. Nigma, stop, please. I am not Nigma. I am not. Edward, I am the Riddler. Now, time to call in your favor with Mr. Dent. Who is this? How did you get this number? Harvey, my old friend, it's the Riddler. I need a favor. Riddler? That's not possible. Riddler died. Yes, I did die, but I came back. Now, if both sides of your mind would focus, I have a rather intriguing favor that I think you will like. Go on. As we speak, I hold Penguin, Poison Ivy, Joker, and Harley Quinn in my possession. However, sooner or later the Bat Family will start to catch on to the fact that most of Gotham's high-class criminals are missing. So I need you to cause a distraction. To be precise, I need you to kidnap Commissioner Gordon and hold him hostage. Well, I must say, that's quite the favor to ask. As you said, though, it's something I'd like. And I certainly do like the chance to hold the leader of the GCPD hostage when the opportunity is presented. Excellent. Then I can rely on you to handle that, yes? I don't know what it is about you now, but I somehow have more respect for this version of you, Nigma. Pleasure doing business, Harvey. Well, now the real fun can begin. Alfred, something's wrong. How do you mean, sir? Nothing's going on at all right now. Not a single disturbance. Nothing. Well, Ivy was attacking West Industrial earlier tonight. Maybe that was the big crime for tonight. This feels too good to be true. I hate to say it, but you're right, sir. I just got a report about the GCPD being hit by Two-Face of all people. I suppose that's our cue. I'll meet you there. Sounds like a plan. Alfred, can you tell me more about the hit? Yes. It appears the target of the hit was... Oh my. Alfred, who's the target? Commissioner Gordon, sir. You best get there as quickly as you can. I'm on my way. You won't get away with this, Harvey. Batman will stop you. Let him try. He'll be in for quite a treat. What? What do you mean? Surely whatever you planned, he's already anticipated it. I'm merely a distraction. The real threat is at Arkham right now, reconditioning Gotham's most prized psychos. <laughs> oh, it's really quite an enigma for you, isn't it, Gordon? Figuring out what I'm talking about. Well, let's just say an old friend of ours has come back from the dead to the living and has a new motivation in life. An enigma? There's only one person I know that uses that word. And he is dead. Oh, I'm afraid he's not. And right now, he's turning Gotham's most wanted into his personal puppets. The Riddler? Survived? That's... Th that's impossible! I thought the same thing. Then I received a phone call from a number only one person ever had. I didn't believe it at first, but once he started talking, I knew it was him. I knew he was back. What's stopping him from doing the same thing to you that he's doing to other criminals? A bullet. That's what. He knows not to go against me, and he would be wise to keep it that way. And he's arrived. Right on schedule. Let them go, Harvey. Of course. 
But you know me, Batman. Every decision is decided by the coin. So the wager's this. Heads, you'll live and I'll surrender. Tails, well, I think we all know what that means. I'm not here to play games. Let them go. Now. No. I don't think I will. Damn it! I was really hoping to kill the commissioner today. That's two out of three. Not today. Ugh. All right, Batman. You wanna play dirty? Let's play dirty. I don't have time for this. All right. All right. You win. You win. Jim, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. But you'll never guess who's back in Gotham. I knock out all of Two-Face's men, and you get to do the easy part? So not fair. That girl, not now. Jim, who's back? Edward Nigma. That's not possible. Nigma died years ago. I even faced his old accomplice once he passed because she was carrying on his mantle. I don't know how, but he's hired Two-Face to do all of this. He's currently at the New Arkham Asylum with most of Gotham's most wanted with him. He went to the place where it all ended. I never took Nigma to be the sentimental type. Well, according to Harvey here, he's changed. He's not the same man that you faced last time. No matter what's changed, he's still Edward Nigma. Can you handle things here? Yeah, we can take it from here. You two stop Nigma at all costs. We will, Jim. We will. Batgirl, come on. I'll watch after him. I promise. Thank you. Well, Harvey. What am I going to do with you this time? House arrest doesn't sound too bad. I'm sure it doesn't, but that's not happening. Uh... Riddler, you're making a grave mistake. Controlling us would be a waste of your potential. Oh, quite the opposite, actually, Joker. See, with you four under my control, I'll be able to go anywhere in Gotham untouched. Of course, people will try to rise up against me, but that's the least of my concerns right now. If that's the least of your concerns, then what's at the top of your list? Batman surviving this encounter. I've come to the place where everything ended for me. Now it's time to make this the place where his life ends. You want to kill Batman? We've all tried that multiple times. If we couldn't do it as a joint team, what makes you think us under your control will be any better? Because with all the brain power I have in my mind, I'll be able to think 100 times faster than anything you could alone. Now enough delaying. Let's get on with the show, shall we? I have a bad feeling about this party. Trust me, Harley. We all have that feeling. Make it stop! Make it stop! Ah! You've gone too far this time. You've... Oh, you feel me? Please. There. Here. I second that. Ah. 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 Oh, shut up, all of you. The process has already begun. There's no stopping it now. Edward. The power, the power we're, we're receiving. receiving. It's, it's amazing. amazing. But it's but it also, also got, got me thinking. thinking. We're always thinking. So please do be more specific. If we have enough brain power to control these criminals, why couldn't we use it to separate ourselves from each other? Hmm. That's actually not a bad suggestion. I'd be game for that, as would I. Same for me. Hmm. I suppose six murderers would make our odds better. But the only question is, how will you be able to separate your consciousness from my mind if your bodies were destroyed? With the brain power we have right now, just simply remembering our bodies will be enough. Now is the time to do this if we are, though. Agreed. We all have to concentrate, especially you, Mr. Riddler Prime. Very well. Concentrate. Now! Um, what's happening? It's like something's gone wrong here. Harley has a point. Even the voltage has decreased. What is Nigma doing? I'm not sure. But this might be our only chance to get out of here unaffected. Agreed. So how do we break through these boxes? They're nearly indestructible. A little acid goes a long way, Penguin. Ha 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 ha.
Ooh, it's working. <laughs> Soon we'll be free. That's my tight end. Oh, hurry up, would you? <laughs> um, what just happened? I don't know, but I'm getting out of here while I still can. Likewise. Harley and I have some catching up to do. We certainly do. You think just because you're free you can leave? <laughs> you're afraid you're far from being right. What the... Who the hell are these people? These are Riddlers from the previous multiverse. They were all in my head this whole time, but now we've used the brain power from your minds to free us from each other. And now we plan to finish what we started. So if you'd kindly get back into those boxes, that'd be greatly appreciated. Deny us, and you'll find out why you never mess with a Riddler. So, what's it going to be? Deny us, or stepping back into those boxes? Pick quickly. Time is not on your side right now. Is it just me, or is seeing two female versions of Nigma just a, uh, odd? From a woman's point of view, yeah, it's uh, pretty odd. Look, we realize you all have a plan to execute, and we hate to get in the way of that. So we're just going to leave and let you six get back to it, okay? It's not, not so fast, Harley. I believe you still owe us something. She doesn't owe you a thing. You're right. You all do! Um, did I miss something here? Why are there six people dressed as the Riddler? Because we all are the Riddler. They were stuck as mere voices in my head after Crisis brought me back. But now, they are back and they can live on their own. But we've all come to an understanding. And that includes finishing the original plan we started. It ends here, Nygma. Oh, Batman, you couldn't be more correct. However, it won't be me who's leaving in a body bag this time. It'll be you. Friendlers, you know what to do. Batman is mine, though. Fair enough. I'll take Harley, then. Penguin is mine! Batgirl is mine. Ivy's mine. Joker, you're all mine. Just for the record, Bats, I'm only fighting with you to save myself. Just shut up and fight. Attack! You've gotten stronger, Nygma. That energy, it's corrupting. You could say that. <laughs> you, you think you can beat me again? You really think it will end the same way? I hate to break it to you, Batman, but this is not going to end the way you think it will. You're right. This time, you're going to prison. We shall see, Batman. I'll give you two credit. You're pretty spry for being Riddler. Thank you. I was a gymnast before riddles and crime were my thing. Funny, I was the same way. I don't care what your things were. You're not leaving this place without cuffs on you. Uh, yeah, nice comeback, that brat. I'll give you this. You're very quick on your feet. Thank you. I'd say the same to you, but frankly, you've just got lucky up to this point. Ouch! That hurts! Oh, now you're really going to get it. Finally! You think that will <coughs> stop me? <coughs> That's what you get for messing with my beautiful face. <laughs> Don't you ever get tired of this? I mean, man, really? Never. This type of action drives me. You know, I've taken a lot of men in my life, and Mr. J will always be my number one. But if you play your cards right, I may be tempted to show you what a girl like me can really do. What do you take me for, an idiot? I'm not interested in stuff of that nature. If you ask me, not even the Joker deserves you. He deserves someone better. Oh. Dare you do that to my Harley? Oh, I would do it again in a heartbeat. Why you? Ah! A knife? Really? From the Joker of all people? 
How uninteresting. Knife and bulletproof suit. You really need to up your game, Joker. <laughs> What's so funny? The knife was merely a distraction. That bomb, however, <laughs> is not. What the? Up my game. The nerve on that guy. Then, thanks, Mr. Jack. Anything on my Harley Quinn. <laughs> You really need to learn how to fight. It's rather pathetic how fast I took you down. No matter what the situation, Brain will always triumph over Bronze. Right. Well, no matter the situation, Brain will always lose to a bullet. <laughs> well, I was not prepared for that. That's what I was counting on. Now, do yourself a favor and stay down. Not a chance. Very well, then. Sweet dreams, Oswald. Penguin. No. Batman. It almost feels like you have some unresolved issues rising back to the surface. I assure you, releasing them on me won't help. You're the cause. No. Do it, Batman. End me. End me like you did last time. Just like I did this time, I will always return. I will never die, and I will never stop tormenting you. No. Not this time. What? What do you mean, not this time? Do it! Break your one rule again. Come on. Do it! No! <sighs> oh, nice work back there. <laughs> Thanks. I suppose you weren't so bad yourself. Batman, we came as soon as we could. Did Nigma have new goons to fight? Not goons. Just... him. Several alternate versions of him. Alternate versions? What? Alternate versions of himself? Wow. As if this day couldn't get any crazier. I'd love to stay, but I have places to be and people to see. You're not going anywhere. None of you are. How in the world are we going to explain this one? Only way we can, Jim. Crisis on infinite earths. I guess that's just gonna have to work. All right, men, round them up. Wait, Penguin isn't moving. <laughs> he never stood a chance. And to think he was the one that told me I need to work on my fighting. This isn't over, Batman. We will meet again. We will meet again. Mark my words. <laughs> so, what now? We stopped the Riddler's evil plan and Gotham is safe again. We go back to what we do best. Make sure Gotham stays safe. Sounds good to me. I'll meet you back at the Batcave then. No matter what, it always ends with a death. Always. I hope you're comfortable, because this is going to be your home for a very long time. Well, that certainly didn't go the way we expected it to. No, it did not. We were so close to achieving the ultimate prize, but we're just short of it. At least we survived the encounter. No kidding. I just don't want to move for like three days now. Edward. You're awful quiet over there. Do you not have anything to say on the matter? The plan worked perfectly. Yes, we fell short in getting new allies, but we did gain something even better. An entire team of Riddlers. I suppose you have a point there. But even so, 
there's still one riddle left to answer. What do we do next? That, my friend, is truly the ultimate riddle. And I'm happy to say, I may have the answer. Just you wait and see. <laughs> 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 Thank you.